Do you guys have something that you always wanted in your home? That's a window bench for me. I found a great spot for it in our media room and I decided to build it using IKEA Bester cabinets. Yes, you heard that right. I know they aren't very strong for people to sit on them, but hear me out. We started by assembling the cabinets. For me, reading instructions was no fun, but with some help from my daughter, I could manage. Then we built a base frame using 2x4s. Nothing fancy, we joined them using some simple butt joints and we sectioned the frame using three 2x4s. Two for holding cabinets on either side and the center one would support center legs. We put the frame in its place and realized there is some gap between the wall and the frame. So to fill in the gap, we added another 2x4 on the side. Added a couple more on the other side as well and now we are ready to fix the cabinets in. As you can see, we put 2x4s in between the cabinets as well. Screw the sides and bottom of the cabinets into the studs surrounding them. This is how the bench looks now, taking shape very quickly. Then on the top, we screwed in some 1x4s to the legs and placed some more in between using crick joints. If you notice, the cabinets are now surrounded by wood on all sides and weight will not fall on the cabinets directly. Now it's time to add doors. The cabinet material is not ideal for painting but we made it work. We sanded, primed and painted them and I'll update you on how they are holding up. We wanted to have a mini fridge on one side of the bench. So we framed the fridge as well and attached it to the bench. We cut a circular hole to access the outlet. Now on the bench we attached a 3 4th inch plywood using liquid nails. Do you know that liquid nails are stronger than actual nails? Funny. To balance the fridge visually, we are using a taller cabinet on the other side. This worked out great because we can lean back on them. And finally, we trimmed everything. The base, top and the support legs in between using some 1x2s and 1x4s. Now to cover those ugly edges of plywood, we ironed some edge banding onto them and finished it. This is how it looks now and our family loves it. What do you think?